is here with a quick tip for reducing the file size of the photos and videos that you take on your iPhone or your Android phone. This is especially important if you are putting lots of photos and videos into Seesaw or Google Classroom or Google Drive or another LMS like that. Reducing the file size not only keeps your camera roll from filling up so soon, but also is just much easier to upload and download if those files aren't so big. So if you go to settings and we're gonna scroll down to our camera app. So we wanna actually come into the app. The first thing that we can do is we can change the video recording setting. So instead of the default, which is at 1080, I click on the top one 720. For most purposes of the types of things that we would record as teachers, this is still a really nice video quality and it just makes it easier to upload, download into Google Drive or wherever you're putting that. Um, this is an iPhone, of course, there will be a similar feature where you can uh, downsize the video storage on an Android device. And then the other thing we're going to do is we want to turn off the live photos. Now, if you really love those live photos, this won't be for you, but if you don't care or you want to save a ton of space, this is really important. On my version, I'm on Apple 17 as the operating system. So there's a preserve settings feature. It might be a little different on yours. What you're looking for is this live photo. And in your settings, you can turn this off so that it's permanently off. You can also delete this in your camera app when you go to take the photo. So in your camera app at the top here, there's a little button you can see live is off with that setting that I just put in place that should stay off I default. Those are some ways to reduce the storage capacity that photos and videos take on your iPhone.